Well, good Saturday morning to everyone. This is going to be a little treat because I do not normally jump on Facebook Live on the weekends. I occasionally do. Um, I was busy the last couple of days, so I was not able to do my normal Facebook Live on Thursday or Friday. <clears throat> so I thought I'd jump on here. I've been having a dialogue with a colleague uh, the, of mine uh, and uh, going back and forth. He is developing um, a platform for, for salespeople, doing some incredible work. And I've, I've mentioned him in the past, so um, you know, he's a great guy. But um, he and I have had this discussion about what is it that I do? You know, and, I, and I got on the other day and was uh, starting to process through this, this idea. And to be honest with you, I have um, journals like this several of them where I write in them notes. You can see there's all sorts of notes that I write. And what it comes down to is when you're a business, if you're not being successful, or maybe you've been in business for a while and somewhere along the way things have plateaued or you're, you're just not in a place of success anymore or you're not growing at the speed or rate that you would like to, the question comes down to really what is it that you do? What, is, what problems do you solve? What problem or pain point do you address in, in your client's um, in your client's needs. What, what is the pressing need or problem that you're addressing in the services that you offer? Excuse me. And, you know, I, I've been a business coach for mm, 14 years, going on 15 years now. And I've been in the business world 25 years. 19 of that has been as an entrepreneur and business owner. And before that, I worked in corporate America uh, I have been from the bottom all the way up to a basically a chief operations slash financial officer for a company. And the question really comes down to, have you thought about what it is that you address? What problems do you try to fix? What pain points do you address in your business? And, you know, a lot of times people will say, well, what is it? that you do what is it that you do as a coach and and uh business owner thank you guys for the the likes i really appreciate the thumbs up i really appreciate it the the, the question is what is it that you do what is it that i do as a business coach as a leadership coach as a mentor as a business consultant because when you throw out those type of words i'm a business coach i help people uh with their businesses. Well, what does that mean? I mean, do, how, how do you help me with my business? Because at the end of the day, what really is the problem is not what you're stating is the problem. And here's what I know based on my research and based on my 15 years as a business coach. And that is that really the problems that business owners th deal with is they have short term thinking. And now this is not necessarily uh, something to point a finger at and say you're short-sighted. That's not what I mean by that. When I say short-term thinking, it means that we're so busy, we're so caught up in working in our business that we can't think beyond that. We can't think strategically. We can't think tactically. And that will lead to also an area of pain for business owners, lack of vision. You have a trouble... Uh, creating vision for your company. And there's another issue, and this one I run into a lot. And the fact of the matter is when you go from a small business to a medium-sized business growing into a large business, there are lack of systems, processes, and procedures. Now, you might say, well, I have plenty of systems, processes, and procedures, but the question is, are they current? Are they able to keep up with the demand? Are they able to keep up with the realities of your current business? And here is another area that I, I find business owners struggle with, and that is they don't know where they're headed or they don't know what to do next. They don't know where to start. Does any of this resonate with you? These are the things I work with my clients all the time. We work through these, where are you headed? This is a strategic question. Where are you headed? But more so, where do you start 
is a huge question, especially if you are in the startup phase. But in the same realm, dealing with blind spots is a huge issue for my clients. Now, when I talk about blind spots, what I mean is that you're clicking along and you've literally got, got your blinders on. You're focused straight ahead. You're going to get this done. But there's things going on in the periphery that you can't see because you've got head down and blinders on, right? And so we have to deal with the areas that are real, that are having an impact on your business, but you're not paying attention to them yet. Another area that I work on uh, helping alleviate the pain is in decision making. Many times when a business is growing, when it's scaling, getting bigger, the, the enormity of decision making uh, crushes down on the business owner and they're not used to making decisions at the level and capacity and speed as to which they need to make decisions. So many times I'm working with business owners on decision making. Now here's another big, this is the biggie. Now when I'm doing my research, and you can do your own research, the number two reason that businesses fail or that businesses struggle, the number two reason is dealing with uncertainty of the future. Now you're like, well, what's number one? I want to know what number one is. Well, you know what number one is already. It's finances, you know, investments, money to get things done, capital to run the business. That's the number one problem that business owners run into. Number two is dealing with uncertainty of the future. A lot of the things that I do when I'm, when I'm teaching and I'm coaching clients is that I'm teaching them how to understand the potential of, of what could happen in the future, the potential future, and um, to come up with a preferred future and talk about how you get to that preferred future with the uh, realities of the world happening around you. In other words, how do you prepare for um, things that could come at you as you're heading toward that preferred future? Um, the other thing is being aware of issues internally. A lot of times we're so busy working in our business that we can't tell that there's uh, culture issues, that there's um, office politics, that there's infighting, that there's uh, wrestling for position. There's all sorts of internal issues that are going on. Now, here is a biggie for um, business owners, and that is the awareness or accountability and performance issues. How do I stay focused and stay on track to create performance, uh, to meet the performance I need? Problem solving, leadership, embracing change, strategic thinking, business growth, business strategy. Now here's the reality of it. The, when, it when it comes down to the very bare bone basics, what really is going on here is that business uh, is lacking proper education and training. And in fact, when, when I look at what's going on in the universities and training in, in the world right now, what we're finding is universities are failing our students. And I don't mean failing them with an F, I mean failing them with skill set and knowledge. In fact, I was telling my colleague earlier today that um, the the truth of the matter is about 90% of what I learned in undergraduate school, and I graduated from my undergrad in 1993, but about 90% of what I learned in business school never helped me. I never saw the day of daylight in my business, never helped me to get clients and all of that. The other problem is with training programs that are out there, there's a ton of them. And I always get a kick out of the fact that I see these training programs going on with these guys and gals that are making absolutely millions of dollars and they don't even have hardly an ounce of education or understanding or business experience. So there's business owners out there that are trying to get help. They're, the university education has failed them and now they're going to training and learning stuff from people that don't even know what they're doing. I mean, I know a particular person in the industry right now that charges a lot of money for a training program and they don't they never graduated college and they are in their 20s and they have what amounts to about three years of business experience 
Now, I'm not saying they're not successful. But they are very successful. They're worth millions of dollars. The point I'm trying to make is why learn from someone that doesn't know what they're doing when you can find people? You know, when I look at the gold standard of people out there in the coaching world, in the business consulting world, and mentoring, what I'm looking for are the people that actually know what they're doing and have street cred and they're making bank, they're making a lot of money, and I want to learn from them. I'm looking for people that are not just financially successful, but they actually have real world business experience. Because this, this person who charges you thousands of dollars to go through their training program and then thousands of dollars more to be part of their uh, learning community and, and uh, mastermind communities and so forth, they don't have the business experience. And even as far as I can tell, their team doesn't have it. Now, I, I'm going to be very clear with you. I'm obviously not giving names and I'm not pointing fingers at, at a specific person. I'm, I'm really pointing a finger at the industry. The bottom line is that I have over 25 years of business experience, 19 of which is an entrepreneur, 14, almost 15 years of that I've been a professional coach working with thousands of customers around the world, helping them to grow revenue, increase profits, and scale their company to new levels, showing them how to make money, helping them solve actual business problems while they scale their business 10 times or more. So... The bottom line is, if, if that's you, if it resonates with you that you're struggling and you just do not know where to go next, you are, <clears throat> are dealing with a uh, lack of vision or you don't, you don't know where you're headed or you, maybe you feel like there might be some blind spots or you're having problems making decisions, you're trying to grow your company, scale your company, you don't know where to find customers um, or even how to serve those, who, who your target audience is, what your value proposition is, do you, you know, your marketing language. If any of those are issues, you should be getting with someone who knows what they're doing. And that's something I help people with all the time through my programming. So while this is kind of an advertisement, I mean, everything I do is really branding, the bottom line is stop struggling, stop spending thousands of dollars with people that don't know what they're doing. If you're interested in talking to me with a free consult, we can do a free strategy session. Go to my website here, MaximumChange.com is the link, and there's a quick 30-second survey that you could take, and that will position you uh, to uh, get the help you need. Because really, the biggest problem that we have right now in business is education and training. That's the biggest problem. It's not lack of willingness. It's not um, lack of desire. It's more lack of know-how. So I want to encourage you, jump over to my website, MaximumChange.com. Take that quick 30-second survey. I'd love to meet with you, get to know you, find out what you're dealing with, help you build your company to get the results you're looking for, and then talk to you about how we keep that going, how we sustain that, and keep you in a growth mode so that we can build your business month after month, year after year. Okay, I'm Dr. Foster. And I'm the success coach with MaximumChange.com. Thank you for taking uh, about 15 minutes of your Saturday out to watch this video. And I'd love to hear from you. Comment on the video below. There's a little box right down there. Comment below. Like this video. Share this video. Um, send me a direct message if you need some help. But more importantly, go over to my website, MaximumChange.com. Take a quick 30-second survey and meet with me this coming week. 30-second survey to have a 30-minute meeting with me. And the meeting's free. I'm not going to charge you for it. Hope you have a great day. See you soon.